Today I'm going to show you a new feature that is available with Lefiri's latest system software, FS500. The feature Preflight Pro is available on those external Fiery's that are running the Graphic Arts Pro Package option. Let me show you how it works. So here I have a flyer in Command Workstation. When I right click on it, you're going to notice we have a new option called Preflight Pro. When I highlight Preflight Pro, you'll see we have a list of pre-configured preflights that I can run against this file, many of these being industry standards. For this example, however, I'm going to use the basic preflight that is set up just to check some general things on the Fiery. So I click Basic Preflight. You'll notice how quickly it's going to spool the job through the preflight. And when it's done, I can come underneath Job Summary and then click on View Report to see if we have any issues. So with the report opening, you're going to notice that we have three areas we have found something wrong. So first we found a spot color of PMS 465 that is missing. We found a line width that is less than 0.25. And we also found that we have an image that's 100, under 150 DPI. So if, let's click on spot colors first. And you'll notice that this is just telling us that this spot color is not available on the Fiery. So we may have to remap that color to get better output. And if we go to warning, again, you're going to see these two issues that are available for us to review. And if we come over here to the icon, this will open up the file itself so we can view on the screen the area in the file, file where we have the problem. So in this example here, here's the line that's too thin. If we come up and click Next, you'll notice here we identified the, the photograph that is under 150 DPI. So quickly we can identify problems that we may potentially have when we print this file. Let me show you one more. So here I have a booklet that's been created for variable data. It's supposed to be compliant to VT1. But let's confirm that it is. So again, I come here to the industry standard uh, PDF VT1, click on this, and it will go through the pre-flooding process. And when it's finished, you'll notice down here at pre-flight we have an X. So that means we have a problem that it did not pass. So let's click the report. And we open this report again. Here you're going to notice that we have three errors. So these errors are conditions that have not been met okay, to make this a compliant PDF of VT1 output file. So again, we're identifying problems that may occur with this file when we go to print it. Lastly, I'll show you if I open up the Fiery Hot Folders module. I have a hot folder created for my automation. And now we are allowing you to add these pre-flight capabilities into your hot folders to give you some true automation and some pre-flighting capability upstream before you print on your firing.